Well, ghosts and goblins and things that go bump in the night. The spooky season has arrived, but don't be fooled. One Cincinnati spot where you might expect a fright isn't really there to give you a scare. What about it, huh? Tombstones, mausoleums, a lot of people find cemeteries to be kind of scary places. But here at Spring Grove, it's not exactly that black and white. Quite the opposite. This is a place filled with color. It's alive and not in a night of the living dead kind of way. I never would have thought of going to a cemetery, but oh my goodness, was that was that worth it? That's the kind of thing Gary Freitag, president and CEO of Spring Grove Cemetery, hears and reads all the time from people after their first visit here. It's much more than they bargained for. We have everything from people who are interested in architecture to come see all the all the beautiful buildings within Spring Grove. We're a level three arboretum. So we have 450 acres and one of the largest plant collections in the Midwest. The statue of Johnny Appleseed no doubt appreciates all those trees and all the space out there where anyone can respectfully wander. We have uh, nearly 45 miles of road inside the cemetery. That's how many places you can get lost. Yeah, it is an amazing place. Amazing too because of its history. Former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Salmon P. Chase, the man for whom the law school at NKU is named, is buried here. Civil War Major General Joseph Hooker is up on one hill. He's known for many things, both in military history and in now mostly debunked innuendo. What's in a name, after all? But the Civil War section itself, with its upturned cannon barrels and grave markers in concentric circles where soldiers are buried, is a solemn reminder of this place's true purpose, as true now as it was when the first interment happened back in 1845. We do over 2,000 funerals and 2,000 burials a year. So we are an active cemetery, and that's our highest priority, is helping those families uh, get through a, a very difficult time in their lives. Spring Grove Cemetery is just one of those very special places in Cincinnati, a sacred place. People come here for the beauty, they come here for the architecture, for the history, and they come here to find some peace. We still miss you, Dad. Aw, Bob's dad there. And you can walk the cemetery on your own, or you can take one of the over 40 different themed tours offered by the docents. There are a number of different events offered at Spring Grove throughout the year, too. We've got a, a link for you. You can find out more at Local 12. I highly recommend their tram tours. I took yeah. one a year, probably, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. It was so amazing. You can't believe it. Wow. You yeah. cannot believe how beautiful it is and all the different people who are there. Yeah. The Proctors and Gambles and Krogers and Fleischmans and like all these really famous Cincinnatians. Yeah, are all, all there. these names you're used to seeing yeah. on buildings and bridges and yeah. all that. They're, they're there. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. um, and, and Gary was saying he's been there for years now. Mm -hmm. And he says sometimes he'll go in and he'll intentionally go out to see if he can get himself turned around. Wow. Because there are so many places to explore, mm -hmm. you know, when you're there. So. You might have, you might, is there an app? Like yeah, they there need is. You, because there you is. need, it's so big, like you could get lost in there. Get you a map. But it's gorgeous. Uh, it is. Wow. That was a good story. It is, I it like is that. gorgeous. Thank Go you. there and see it, Leah. Now,